It is so reassuring to open God's word and know that he is there for us through his word, especially in this time where life is uncertain and circumstances are uncertain and everything is just so different than what we're used to. So I start my morning with reading the Bible with my little one playing on the floor and I spend about hopefully five to ten minutes depending on how the morning goes just reading and enjoying Nevaeh's company. Then I always have to have my French press right away in the morning before I start breakfast. Now, when I was currently, or when I was working, um, Blaze would start breakfast for us in the morning and I would get ready, but it has switched now that I am teaching at home per se. And so I enjoy these morning routines and I just think it's important to continue to stay normal in this time of craziness and, um, you know, I just think God knows what is going on and we just need to trust in him and rely on him in this time and yeah, that's just what I'm going to share. So I hope you like this day in the life. I know in most of my day in life videos, if ever I show breakfast, you see the same thing, but that is because we have the same breakfast every day and we like that routine of two eggs, some spinach, mushrooms, and peppers if we have it sauteed with that on the side. I put some avocado sometimes on it and Blaze has toast and I have like part of a banana with some peanut butter. So having that routine makes the morning just so much smoother because we know what to expect and we just absolutely love the same breakfast. It may seem mundane to some of you but to each his own, right? <laughs> And then, of course, Nevea was um, needing some mom time, so we did a little seasoning while she was on my hip. Well, good morning, friends. It is eight o'clock. We have been up for a couple hours. Nevea wakes up about six and so do we. Um, it is just nice to continue a normal routine when life is not so normal right now. Uh, it's just different and takes a little more effort with my teaching, but I love having my mornings be a normal routine. I got the dishes all cleaned up after we ate breakfast, um, table wiped, Nevaeh is just playing here on the floor, she's watching me, um, but I did take my temperature, I've been feeling off, I slept from 8 last night, got up, took care of Nevaeh about 10 o'clock, then went back to bed and woke up at 6, so I slept for about 10 hours, woke up, I have a fever, which is not good, my throat had hurt yesterday, I did a lot yesterday and was outside quite a bit, I don't know if that had something to do with it. But I've been using this essential oils. I use Young Living oils. I use eucalyptus and then um, peppermint in here and put it on my forehead and on my neck every 15 minutes to help the fever go down. But I'm hoping that helps because my body just aches and I have this like sort of raspy thing in my throat. So um, hopefully it's just a fluke uh something whatever it might be and so i'm i'm hoping that's what it is um so anyways i need to fold some laundry from yesterday we left the living room a mess from last night oh look at it. she found my wallet in my backpack for school <laughs> um yeah so living room still a mess laundry's over there to fold I just did not have energy for anything yesterday. It was just after after supper and after everything with me being tired and taking a nap, I just I just stayed asleep. So I need to take care of some of this stuff. Okay, 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little snippet of Nevea with her talking to herself in the mirror. But anyways, I decided I needed, I have needed to do this, honestly, for like a couple weeks now. I am oiling my butcher block countertops. I do this now once a month. And when we first got the countertops, it was like a couple times a week. And then it was spread out once a week. And now it's once a month. And I notice when I don't do it. So this just takes a clean white cloth that I use and I throw the cloth away after I'm done. And then just this Howard's Wood Butcher Block Oil. I'll link it in the description box below for you. So I often have to every day check emails, do some um, other school related work. Sometimes I go to the school. We have a small rural school. That's where I work. So I have to do that to keep up. I have a Zoom meeting today at 1030 with one of my classes. And so I often just play with Nevaeh and do some work on the side and then do more when she's napping. Um, that's also the time when I edit some of my YouTube videos and stuff too. So yeah, are you going to be in the video too? So that is kind of how it has to work while I'm home. I know a lot of the larger schools in South Dakota are making it so their teachers do not go in. And if they go in, they have to track every single step they took. So being in a small school, they're not doing that for us. We put together packets every week for all the kids um, to take home. And then we do a lot of e-learning stuff too, but less than a lot of the bigger schools. So I've heard through the grapevine that parents really like the packets for the elementary kids and even the high school kids so they have paper hard copy stuff but then they like the zoom meetings once or twice a week as well to keep them up to date so that's kind of what has been working for our school and it's just so different it takes a lot more work in that aspect and being a music teacher we're hardly singing i won't have my spring concerts most likely unless we do go back in may so it's just so different and this being my last year teaching having resigned it's not exactly how i expected to finish out my teaching career so i'm gonna check a few emails here and then she's really tired so i'm gonna probably put nevea down for a nap here pretty soon hi honey Essential oils are a daily part of my life and I am just making a flu bomb here to help with my fever and sickness that I have. So um, if you have more questions, just comment below or you can go to Instagram and DM me about Young Living Oils. All right, my Zoom meeting with my sixth grade class is done. So I will not have any more Zoom meetings today. It went pretty well, this is my first time seeing them since we left school so it was fun to catch up a little bit and then just explain the process of my class um i do teach choir so we will not be singing though on zoom i told them that it'll be more project based till the end of the year or however long we're out um so i also worked on my video a little bit Nevea only nap for about an hour but she played so well while i was having my zoom meeting on the floor she was now if you see her in the background she loves watching Maggie, our dog out there. She could spend a long time out there. But I'm gonna make some banana bread because a couple weeks ago, I got lots of bananas. They're all sitting up there. And then I have some other ripe bananas here that I'm gonna use to make some banana bread with. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, and then I've been listening to an interview of Chip and Joanna Gaines here on YouTube. So that's kind of fun to be listening to that. So <coughs> that's the plan. I am feeling much better that eucalyptus peppermint has helped. I still feel a little warm, but maybe I can sneak in a nap this afternoon while she naps. So, all right. This banana bread recipe was one my mom taught me and it has six ingredients it's so easy i accidentally doubled 
the butter, so I am doubling everything right now. But it is just eggs, butter, um, bananas, flour, sugar, I substituted stevia, and baking soda. And then if you want, you can put chocolate chips in it, you can put nuts in it, um, however you want it. And I'll put the recipe below so you can follow along if you want to do that. But it's just so delicious and so easy and it bakes at 350 for like 50 minutes and I love it and everybody I take it to loves it too. Well, I think um, it has been several hours since I've talked to you last. I'm going to work on some lasagna. Nive is down for her afternoon nap. I want to make uh, like 9 by 13 or two 8 by 8 or 9 by 9 pans so that we can freeze one and then have one now. <clears throat> or I can make a whole big one and then freeze some in another container and that would work. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do that. Lunch dishes are all cleaned up. I put some in the dishwasher. I, if you know me, I rarely run our dishwasher. I know I need to run it weekly. Some of you have told me that that it needs to keep it clean by running it weekly. This is probably going on a month since I've run it. So I'm loading the dishwasher today. Yay me, right? <laughs> I don't know why. I just wash the dishes by hand most of the time. So I'm gonna work on the browning the meat and onions. Whenever I am cooking anything on the stove, I always have to put on an apron and this one was a handmade vintage apron and you know it's a very feminine apron and my husband definitely likes that so um, anyways I am going to use the meat that we got we got a quarter of a cow from some friends who raise steers and we love this meat it is like 93% lean it's so good and you never have to drain any grease off we also have a quite a full freezer of deer meat from the fall when my husband was hunting so we're well stocked with meat which is very nice especially during this time so I browned the meat and then um, it was a slightly frozen so I have a round lid that I put on it because I don't have a square lid to go with that. Anyways, I'll put in half an onion. I didn't want the whole thing in the lasagna and then just season it with some salt and pepper and lots of garlic powder. We love garlic in our house. So then I just put that in there, make sure it gets all seasoned throughout. All right, now I'm getting down my other ingredients. I just use Hunt's pasta sauce. I bought quite a few when they were on sale at our local store. And then some lasagna noodles, and I don't pre-bake the noodles. And then I use cottage cheese and some shredded mozzarella. So I put a little sauce on the bottom first, layer it with the noodles, and then I dump my meat in there, and then put some of my um, sauce over a top of that as well. I think I normally mix the meat and sauce, but I couldn't remember so I just did it this way And then I dollop a few spots of cottage cheese I used about half the container of cottage cheese and I used all the sauce because a dry lasagna is not a good lasagna And then I'll put mozzarella on it and I forgot to show this part, but I do put Parmesan cheese on every layer too and so then I got two layers out of this one and used up all that it was about a pound and a half of meat actually here is a completed lasagna just two layers um I will stick it in the fridge till supper time because it is only 2 23 Nevea is awake and needing some mom time so this is done for supper yay should we build any? Can you build with mom? Look it. Oh. You build. Oh, good job. What weird weather South Dakota has. It was 78 yesterday. Now it is cooler than 32. And snowing just a little bit right there my chives in their pot are getting snowed on and my plants over there are getting some snow i also have this grow bed here that i've started my peas are coming up um 
But yeah, I tented it with this cling wrap because that's supposed to help it seem more like a greenhouse. So that's been working pretty well. All right, I also wanted to share these plants that are doing pretty well. I have some Brussels sprouts in those six spots. There's some tomato plants kind of coming up here. Oh, little, little guy. And then my cabbage in the back. There's no tomatoes coming up in this one for some reason. But this is a south facing window and it is up to the front of our house. So people probably think it looks weird to have that there, but I don't care. I want some plants for planting this spring. It was finally time to sit down and do the laundry. And of course I had a little bit of help from my little girl too. Here is what our supper looks like halfway eaten. I didn't show you a lasagna. It was delicious. And then I had some sourdough garlic toast and a side salad on it. So um, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit. Dishwasher's been loaded, but I need to spot clean our sink. We've had this farmhouse sink for a couple years. I did drop something heavy on it. So it cracked it, dented it there. Um, but I need to clean this out too but there is some like dirt spots that I need to try to get out. I do really like this sink. We did it under mount when we installed the butcher block countertops. Kind of something I wish we maybe wouldn't have done because it's a little harder to upkeep with the butcher block, but I think it looks amazing. So, um, and then I'm gonna swift for the floor and pick up all the toys in there and probably call it a night. You know, wouldn't it be nice if we actually could speed clean our kitchens and messy areas just as fast as when I speed these up? But it didn't take too long to really clean up. Um, just clean off the table the rest of the way. I was excited about my Young Living box I got there. Um, there were some things just on the table and chairs that didn't need to be there. And then I swiffered the floor and um, sometimes we accidentally leave the cupboard doors open. Who else does that in your family? I know it happens in our house too. So I just wanted to get a good Swiffer from um, whatever crumbs we brought in or dirt or stuff like that. Wipe the table down and then I did realize that where Nevea eats under her spot had some sticky stuff so I just spot cleaned under her little chair and um, and then the stove needed some cleaning and just little areas. Of course, I have the lasagna sitting out to cool. It was out for like an hour or so. And then stick that away. And then you need a little plant life on the table. So, and then the living room really didn't take very long. We try to keep just one basket of toys so then it doesn't take near as long. So my cleaning was complete. Well, it really is so nice to have a clean kitchen when you wake up in the morning and the living room put back together for the evening. So I got that all tidied up and I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. It's definitely different because it's during the weekday. So I'm doing teaching at home plus mommying at home, being a wife. And maybe you got some inspiration with what you can do and maybe some meal ideas and snack ideas as well through watching this. Um, it sometimes seems random when I'm filming. I hope it's not, but that's kind of a day in the life. Like I pick up the camera for this and sometimes I don't pick up the camera for other things. So that's kind of what happened today anyways. So hope you enjoyed it and hope you're having um, just a nice time with your family during this time. Um, where it's unknown and that you can just be trusting in the Lord in this time because I know that's what we're having to do. We have never gone through anything like this 
um, in my lifetime and a lot of people's lifetime. So it's just something of an unknown. So anyways, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. I'll talk with you in my next video. Bye.